Hello. Today I'd like to talk just about art in general, leveling up your skills at drawing, and just a few things I picked up on my journey. First things first, you know the drill. Help a brother out by liking and subscribing and watching this exact video for 10,000 times in one day. Now, before my demands get a little too ridiculous, let's just get started. The first thing I want to tackle is growing. What I mean by that is just leveling up your skills, your technical skill at drawing something and designing things out of your imagination. Now, for your drawing skills, you're obviously going to get better if you practice drawing. But how much practice do you really need? There's a saying that states that if you put in 20% of the work, your success is most likely about 80%. With that in mind, you don't need to draw for 10,000 hours to just be able to make a halfway good drawing. But nonetheless, it's gonna be more than a hundred or even more than a thousand, depending on how fast of a learner you are and what skill level you want to achieve. Assuming you just want to achieve a regular base skill level of a good artist on the internet, where you can draw in your style something that you want from imagination with reference in a moderate time frame. I'd say you're gonna have to be actively drawing for about three to four hundred hours. Which sounds like a lot, but it's just about one hour, a little more to be honest, but it's about one hour every single day for only one year. And that's something almost anyone can do. You just need the resolve to do it. Especially because drawing, much like many skills in sports, is something you have to do all the time. Okay, If you draw something and you're good at it, if you don't draw for an entire year, I'm pretty sure you're not gonna be able to recreate the same technical skill you had before. Now, this method with drawing one hour per day for every day will get you on an entirely different level of skill after this one year only. So don't fret about it if you have a drawing you made like one week ago and redraw it and it still doesn't look good. We've all been there. Every great artist you look up to has been there. He's been looking at his sketchbook and thinking, Oh my god, this is shit. And I can almost guarantee you that almost every artist there is who has successfully made it has at one point of his career in learning or even professionally thought about quitting because he disliked his art. Now obviously this isn't a fact for everyone, but I can tell you that most artists have a extremely critical opinion of their own art. And that is because if you look an extended period of time at the same picture, you're gonna find something that you don't like. And as your observational skill improves, you're gonna find these little itty bitty errors even in the artworks of artists you look up to. Well anyway, the essence of the talk is don't fret if you're not improving right now. And don't overdo it with your drawing. Okay? It doesn't help you if you draw 10 hours a day. You're gonna need some rest in between to let your brain process what it's been learning. Now, I've picked up one thing that really, really helped me a lot. And that is to not hope to make a masterpiece. Because when I am imagining something that I want to draw, I always imagine it in a style that I have seen before be it the style of someone I follow on Instagram, or just a cool art style I saw on the internet on a random Reddit post. But it's never my style. Because I look at my style so often and so deliberately critical that I always think of it as not good. No matter what I draw, I find something that I don't like about it. At first, that got me pretty bummed out. Because who wants to do something he's not good at, right? But with time, I came to the conclusion that 
it was actually a very, very good thing that I became such a critical thinker about my art. Because if I wouldn't think of it as not good, why would I care to improve? The key to it is to expect to be disappointed with the end result. And I don't mean that you have to expect, yes, my drawing will be shitty and nobody likes it. That's not the point of it. But to expect that you are going to be disappointed with at least something in your art. And if you see the thing that you don't like, then you know first, what do you want to improve? And second, where have you already improved? Because for every little thing that you think looks disgusting, there's something where you don't think it looks disgusting. You might not see it and think, hey, that's super pretty, but it's also not an eyesore. With that in mind, you can say, hey, you know what? I've improved so much that I don't think this looks worthy of being displeased. And with that mindset, you slowly crawl up this hill of disappointments, up until you have a drawing where there's one thing and one thing only it may be where you think this looks great and you're glad you did it. And that's the turning point. That is the point where you will think, hell, I am glad that I did not quit. I'm glad that I kept going, even though I was disappointed. I kept going and I drew every day and I improved. And doing that takes a lot of resolve, quite a bit more than to just say, I am content with where I am, even though it's not where I want to be. Which is also a very hard thing to say. But in the end, it's just an excuse. So if you're ever dissatisfied with your art and you want to quit, just think about it. There will be a time where you're glad you didn't quit. And there will be a time where you would regret that you quit. Because improving is something anyone can do. Every single one of us has his or her own pace at improving and their own style at improving. And they want to improve at different things. But that's good. Because else there would be only one tutorial on how to do this exact thing. And the entire world would be happy with it. Well, I've been monologuing for quite a while now and my throat actually feels sore. I haven't drank anything in between these sentences. So I'm a head out. Have fun drawing and I'll see you next time.